There goes Oakley. There goes Memphis. Oh, are you playing Queen in a Mountain? Good job. You guys have been begging us to do another treat video with the dogs. So we have come out into our backyard to watch Oakley dig. Not really. We've come out into our backyard to check out our apple trees back here. And we are going to make some apple chip dog treats. Very simple, very easy to do. Now we're going to pick out some good apples. Memphis is going to help me pick apples. Want to pick an apple? Pick that apple, Memphis. Get it? Pick it. Get it right here. Get that apple. Thank you. Thank you for helping me pick apples. <laughs> All right, we have our container of apples. You, thank you. Memphis helped me pick some, and now we are going to go cut them up. Let's go back inside, girls. All right, so for this recipe, this is pretty much all you're going to need. Some apples, a little bit of cinnamon, a knife, possibly an apple core. I don't know if it's going to work for these apples because our apples are itty-bitty and tiny. These are the apples off of our tree in the yard like you guys saw. They're perfectly good apples. No pesticides were used on our tree, so they're a little bit small, a little bit bumpy, but they're good apples. We've eaten them, and so have the dogs. Um, when you're making this recipe you want to make sure to cut the seeds out of the apples because if if dogs chew on the seeds it can be dangerous for them so we have to make sure to core them and remove the seeds. So now we are going to take this we're going to take these itty bitty apples and we're going to see if this is going to work. Let's hope. Memphis don't knock them off the table. <laughs> Thanks him. Looks like it worked to me. So using the apple corer pulls the core out of the apple and then we end up with apple slices about this thick but that's going to be too thick for what we're going to do with them so now we're going to take a knife and we're going to tell the dogs knives are dangerous get away no you can't seriously fine oh my gosh it's so exciting nope that's not for you Shelby want one come here Shelby stop Shelby do you want one well, apparently Shelby doesn't want one. Sometimes she likes apples, sometimes she doesn't. So what we're going to do now, hopefully you guys can see this, we're going to take this knife and we're going to cut the apples into little thin slices, probably about like that. Once you get your apples cut up, all you got to do is lay them out on a cookie sheet. Make sure not to lay them one on top of another. You want to make sure they're just on the sheet. If you have some extra apples, your helpers can eat them. If they don't like apples, well, we'll give her a piece of, hey, that's not for you. Give her a piece of freeze-dried chicken treat instead. For those of you asking, those are Dr. Tim's natural chicken chips. That's what we gave to Shelby. These are really good. You can get them at Chewy.com. The girls really like them. This is an optional step. You don't have to do it, but we like to sprinkle just a little bit of cinnamon on these. And yes, for those of you asking, they're good enough for people to eat too. Now we're going to go put them in the oven. Now if you'll notice, I did not tell you to preheat your oven anywhere because it's not necessary. You don't have to do it. What you're going to do is you're going to put your oven on the lowest setting that you can. Which, about 170, 175 is what we're going to use. So you're going to set your oven at 175. You're going to pop the apple chips in the oven and you're going to leave them in there. Are you ready for this girls? For about 5 to 6 hours. While we're waiting. <laughs> Memphis likes apples. Oh, is that good stuff? Good stuff, huh? Shiloh used to love apples too. How about you, Oakley? You want a bite? Oh, that's a very nice bite. You gotta get it. You gotta get it. Oh, oh, that's a good bite. Good bite. Sure, you don't want a bite? <laughs> Maybe later, huh? All right, girls. Let's see what they look like. As I hit Memphis in the head with the <laughs> oven door. Get them out of here. Ooh. They're looking good. Part of the way through, I actually took a cookie sheet and picked them up and put them on a cookie sheet because it helped uh, let the air circulate all around them. So if you have um, one of these cookie cooling racks, you can always put those on there. It just helps the air circulate. Or if you have a dehydrator, you can always use that too. So this is how they turned out. You know, they're a little bit bendable. Some of them, some of the smaller ones are a little bit more crunchy. But now we're going to see what the girls think of the apple treats. Let's try Shelby first. 
Come on now, Shelby. Shelby says no. Really, Shelby? You're not going to eat an apple at all today? Oakley want one? You got you to take it. I think it was stuck to her tooth. Try one more time. Nope, Memphis takes it. Shelby? Hold on, I know how I know how I'll get Shelby taken. Alright, we all know Shelby is a dippin' dog. You guys saw the carrot video. She likes her fruits and veggies in some kind of dip. See if that helps. Does that help? Does that make it better? <laughs> what do you think? Is that better? No, now you eat it. Okay, so Shelby will eat them if they're dipped in yogurt. Okay, got it. We'll cover them in yogurt just for you. <laughs> All right, well, this is probably the easiest treat video we're ever gonna do on this channel. You can do this with just about any type of fruit or vegetable. Put them in the oven and dehydrate them like that. We've done it with sweet potatoes, carrots, things like that. Just makes a nice, easy treat for the dogs. Doesn't take too long, and apparently two out of three like it. Shelby has eaten these before, so I think she's just having one of her diva moments. Are you being a diva, Shelby? Yeah. See, I have to have my apples with dip. All right, you guys, that's all we have for today. Thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. If you're new to this channel, hit that little subscribe button to join the audience. I don't think we have much more to say. Shelby's being a little Miss Diva. <laughs> Thanks for watching, you guys. Stay positive, dream big, and we'll see you soon. Goodbye.